Hey, today we're gonna ride around the city. I'm about to head over and pick up Lorenzo. Okay, here's Lorenzo. Hello, everyone. All right, we've made it as far as uh, the overlook of Treasure Island. Well, I was just saying everyone gives so much attention to Golden Gate, but the Bay, Bay Bridge is a very dynamic thing, and the, uh, the two levels just, you know, has echoes of uh, the futurism of the, the futurist, the, the crazy dynamism of futurism, and, and, you know, there it is. You I know, think. originally the lower deck was trains. Oh, was it? Yeah. Or oh, even more so then, even yeah. more uh, Santelia futurist-like, yeah. Santelia, what's that? Well, Santelia was the, was the most famous Italian futurist architect, and uh, oh, really? he, uh, he made some beautiful drawings of visions of the futurist future. Was anything built? Very little. <laughs> We're at the ferry terminal, and the thing that's kind of interesting, Lorenzo, is see how high this pier is? Yeah. That's been built to anticipate global warming. And look at the, look at the water this, it's high tide right now. Look at the water yeah. right here. Look how high it is. Yeah, yeah you can see how it's sloshing over a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And the seawall, look at the right. Yeah, there it comes. That's a lot of slush. And then if you look over there, the seawall is in danger of flooding already. So they need to raise the Embarcadero. I think I think just the, the way it just sort of seems to levitate it floats above everything compared to everything else everything else has got a real weight to it around it but I think this has got a sort of defies gravity with its layers of glass like that especially going around the corner and seeing the Sun coming through the corners it's an elegant piece so here we are with the twisty building Lorenzo what do you think well I know a lot of people like it and I can understand why they do but it's not my favorite I think it's contrived in the extreme and rather really? wow. feels like it's about to tip over making something different for the sake of it doesn't necessarily make it good you know I remember <laughs> what once once we went around looking at fire departments because some of the new ones are the only places where you see some yeah you know good architecture I think in the city there are a number of good ones um, a little bit dour and uh, uh -huh. and you know could have actually celebrated uh, it's functioned more and um, been a livelier piece of architecture. All right, what do you think of these pistons, Lorenzo? Seriously. <laughs> They're not very dynamic, are they? They're not. Uh, what I would do is, I think if I was going to put them there, I'd put in some kind of gearing to make them more dynamic and multiply the height of the tide going up and down. Oh, make it They're even. very subtle, aren't they? Talk to me about Oracle Park. Well, Oracle Park, it could have been so much better. I think the most exciting parts and memorable parts are where the actual function of the park itself, of the, uh, of the grandstands and so on, actually make their way out into the street. And so everything above the brick line there, to me, looks great and looks honest and uh, well made and not faux. But don't you think the, the rationale behind it was to evoke the nostalgia of an old baseball field? Yeah, I think that's what's wrong with it. Yeah, I feel like Salieri um, talking about uh, you know, too many notes. <laughs> too, many, too many moving parts and too much dynamism which hasn't come to rest. Really not resolved, mm. I think. Not for me, anyway. Here we are at the car park, Lorenzo. What do you think of that car park? It's a very handsome car park. I think it's really very nicely built, very crisp. Just shows you what, you know, lowly 
building type like a car park, how elegant it can be and an and addition to the city and holding the street and, and finishing the block and, and uh, you know, giving some drama to the corner. And look how well made that staircase is, in situ concrete stairs, it's fantastic. Saying this, I think it's an elegant dynamic building. It's it's restrained, but you can tell from the outside that it's got it's got depth to its section and it's got all sorts of interior volumes and rooms. It makes you want to explore. It's not just another stacked office building. It's uh, it's got some real depth to it. Yeah. I say the dynamism of the bridges going into it as well. Just really lift what is otherwise again a very simple uh, orthogonal uh, geometry to the building itself. Lorenzo, only you can say orthogonal. <laughs> orthogonal. <laughs> you and my dentist. <laughs> Orthodontical. <laughs> layers of external wall. I imagine probably helps with uh, with managing uh, the internal environment without having to do it mechanically. This is Crane Cove Park. Beautiful new park. Talk to me about chimneys. <laughs> I was just saying how, how dramatic it is. Look at it, it's extraordinary. It's, uh, it performs a dramatic function and it's uh, rather noble and striking in its form. All right, we're back. And uh, my question for Lorenzo the architect is, did we see any disasters today? Not many disasters. Um, I think not, not too many things wholly to my taste, but then again, I think um, things that, uh, you know, uh, broadly uh, contribute to the city. So yeah, it was a great day today. I really enjoyed our trip. Yeah, it was. Okay, Lorenzo, thanks for the ride. Bye.